Dum, 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 dum. Dawn Smash. Hey guys. You know who? Um, today we're gonna have a look at some Smashers from Les Levo Ballistics. So first off, I'd like to thank Glenn for sending me some samples. Uh, he sent me 10 of each, the standard Smasher and the Smasher XL. Um, he only sent 10 of each. So it's like, uh, first hits for free. <laughs> but uh, he's gonna have some other sizes available. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I'll link the website down in the video description. Uh, I'll particularly just go through these. I'll give you some specs on them, and then I plan on shooting them through my X68 and actually forcing them through my X68 so I can kind of show the difference between a good bore match and a bad bore match. At least that's what I'm hoping for. You just never know what's going to happen sometimes. Well, first off, we're going to start with what you saw in the beginning of the video. So. Um, these are the latest and greatest according to Glenn. So you can see these iron balls or steel balls, whichever they may be, are rough in texture. So the idea of that was that these casings were supposed to stick better to it. Well, let's be honest, not much is going to survive uh, Sean's hammer. <laughs> so um, that was more for demonstration purposes, just so you could have a little closer look at the inside there. All right, well, let's get some weights on these first. I will start with the standard smasher. Now, these are no larger than 681. Bore size. The weight is unknown at this point. We'll find out together. 8.6. 8.7. Five, I'm rounding up or down. 8.5. 8.5. Majority rules. So the standard smashers are 8.5 grams. They say no larger than 681. Here we have a 679. That is a no-go. Oh, and look, I don't even have a 681 on here. Well, I can I can push it through the 679. I can't remember what the tolerance or the, the, the specification for the tolerances were, but that's 679. Obviously, it goes through a 682. Let's try another one here. That one is a little tighter. 679. 679. 679. Remember, these gauges are notoriously inaccurate depending on which day of the week they uh, machined them and how sharp their tooling was. But we'll throw calipers on it. Even though I don't trust these as much either, well, I trust these more. They tell me about the same, 679. So roll with that. Okay, well, those are the standard smashers. So they are advertised as being on the smaller side, maximum 681. What you see here is what you get. In my case, they are magnetic. which is good. Excellent. All right, moving along. I'll put these back in the bag. Smasher XL. These are larger, no larger than 684 by the specifications. The weight, 8.6, 8.6, get out of here, 
8.6 pretty spot on uh size no larger than 684 679 is a no-go 682 nope whoa kind of got stuck in there 684 look at that those ones are bang smack Dab on the money. 682, 684. I mean, they could be a 683, obviously. I don't have 683 on my gauge, so got me some slack. 682, nope. 684, that one's a, just a little, rubs just slightly. Yeah, there you go. 682. Well, that one I really forced through. Yeah. I would call this one because I'm having to push it so hard. It's probably a 683. But grand scheme of things, that's pretty good. Um, Advertise they're on the larger side. They are definitely on the larger side. Let's throw a caliper on them just to see. How badly my little gauge lies there. So six, eight, three and a half, six, eight, four, as I'm rolling around like green boogies. Whoops, let that one slip. Yep, I mean, pretty good, right? Nothing is exact. Barrels aren't exact. Gauges aren't exact. Balls aren't round. So your calibers don't always, you're not always getting the best measurement. Within reason, guys. All right. These are also magnetic. All right. Now, we're going to shoot these. And here's what I want to do to show you guys. Well, hopefully show you guys. I don't want to mix these up. Um, it is noted the regular Smashers have a yellow star. And the XLs have a blue star. Now, like I said, he's going to add a bunch of other sizes. So I don't know what colors and prices. So you'll have to go to the website to check that out. But So we know these blue ones are 683, 684. And these yellow ones were 679, probably more like 680. What did I do with it? Here it is. This is a stainless steel barrel for the X68 from MCS. It is advertised at 683. So this is the small smasher which should be a perfect bore match for this. Sure as crap, they roll right through. What I want to demonstrate here is I'm going to shoot those guys and then I'm going to put my balls where they don't belong. And that's take one that's technically too large for this barrel. You can see it kind of went in and Stopped about halfway down. Oh. So these balls have some drag. Look at that one. You can hear that as I'm pushing it through. Like they are scraping the inside of this barrel. So I'm going to shoot the small balls. Velocity check. Shoot the large oversized ball dragging balls and we'll compare just to demonstrate hopefully having the correct bore match does mean something x60 here i'm going to remove the factory barrel stainless 683 
Throw the CO2 in here. Little dab will do you. Now this X68 is factory for all intents and purposes. Um, did I hit that? There we go, that's better. <laughs> um, except for some motoring changes, but, and the barrel. Uh, we will start with the yellow. So these are, these are bore matched to this aftermarket barrel. Three hundred and fifty-eight, and these are eight point five grams. Three hundred and fifty. Three hundred and forty-four. Three thirty-four. Three twenty-two. Last one. Three twelve. I will let the uh, launcher warm up for a few minutes, and we will put my balls where they don't belong. No laps, time about 10 minutes, should be good enough. I got a fresh CO2 loaded in here. We have the Blue Star, Smasher XL. These are 684 in a 683 barrel. Generally speaking, putting too big a ball down too small a barrel is gonna create drag and you're gonna lose velocity. That is how every other launcher I've fired has behaved. I have not done that with this yet. I haven't forced anything through a barrel. So I may blow an O-ring. I may have some miracle 500 feet per second, but uh, <laughs> let's see. Six, 8.6 grams, 8.6 grams. Three fifty-two. It went through there pretty good, but it was slower. It was slower. Three forty-six. Three forty. Three thirty-two. Three twenty four. Three eighteen. And that was the last one. Interestingly enough, it finished a little higher. I mean, what do you guys think about that? Is it bet is it more efficient because there is literally less gas escaping, but you're obviously at risk of a jam or it's something else of that nature. I would just not recommend doing that, but you can see it can be done. So choosing your bore size is important. Whoops, dropped my washer. Once again, I'd like to thank Glenn for sending those balls out to me. Check out his website. He's going to have a whole bunch more sizes uh, to bore match to different launchers, different barrels. So you're gonna have your work cut out for you if you're choosing a projectile to match a certain barrel. Important to figure out what barrel you have or what barrel you're going to run and then choose your projectile wisely. See you guys.